Hi folks, right. I thought I'd do a little little setup of my uh, what I thought was Hundred Years War figures, um, but it's it's a bit of a bastardization. Excuse the French. It's not really Hundred Years War because that's the Hundred Years War part, I suggest. And over here, oh, this is purely Wars of the Roses, I think. Um, the crossbowmen look like the later crossbowmen. The billmen are definitely from the Wars of Roses, Perry's range. Um, there's some couriers or whatever they're called. They don't look too bad, probably could get away. They're all foundry or citadel figures. Uh, those are Perry's later knights in full plate armour, which I suggest again would be Wars of the Roses. And over the back here, just zoom in a bit, we've got some more very heavily armoured later, I would suggest Wars of the Roses, perhaps Nick, a medieval warrior could tell me if they're usable as later Hundred Years War, but I think more Wars of the Roses. We do have one sort of the leader figure, which some of you may see, that's, that's a set of Bretonians, <laughs> which I acquired many years ago and I've used those as a CNC. We've got then some nice artillery there, um, sort of later probably artillery, a unit of partly painted um, later arches, definitely Wars of the Roses arches there. And then over here we've got some bombards. Um, with crews. I'll leave the crews loose and they can be uh, used in a two or a three or a four whatever size base. But uh, yeah coming back to it, um, here's, here's the hundred years war part of the army which are my units of archers. Now I acquired these, I think I only painted up a couple of units. Um, that's a very basic wargame standard. I've never done anything with them. All I've done is base them up. These were the old uh, Warhammer Bretonian figures. Uh, but the guy had set them up as um, in a wargames uh, way. Um, so he sorted them into 24s. I've based them up to the size we use, which is the basic 60mm frontage, 30mm depth. Uh, for WRG 6 or WRG 7th that's what we use our own version of it we've, we've rewritten a lot of it but that's what we enjoy playing uh, so we've stuck with it uh, I know Nick keeps trying to get me to learn all these new rules but I'm getting so old that, as I say the grey cells are running out so I don't know if I've got any room for more rules but I've got no problems with people trying new rules that's how the world goes round yeah, so we've got, uh, these are in 24s, I've noticed I've got 8 24s of archers, um, 4 to a base, because they're regular, so I use them as regular, and in 24 man units, I like uh, that size, so that's a kind of mixed livery unit there, we've then got uh, basically a white unit there, and we then have a, looks like green and blue unit, there with some mixtures of other bits in. Um, we then have an all blue unit. I think I painted those. Again, it's gonna be late 90s, early 2000s. So probably 20, 25 years old. I'm assuming I painted those up that long ago, yeah. As I say, the, uh, the green ones I painted up as well. We then got another mixed unit here, mixed colors. Uh, what we got here, next one is red and a green livery and the last one there is again mixed livery. Um, so yeah we'll come out, let's zoom out a bit. So, oh yeah, pulling out brown one. I've uh, set this up on my uh, my new mat. Um, it's hand painted so uh, I don't know what you guys think, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm well chuffed with it. I've put a load of trees out, and bits and pieces of scenery. I've taken my basic um, 12 foot battle cloth, which on the other side has got uh, various um, hex shaped terrain. 
and that for the hex games. Oh, I don't know use that, but these are uh, this sort of a basic field concept. Uh, I've uh, painted up half of it so far. I've got down to that far. And you can see the rest of there. I'm going to do that with some more open areas and some fields. Um, so I've got a full 12 before battlefield. Um, the buildings are the old, I don't know if you remember, PMC games. Um, they're no longer, well, I think they're no longer in business. They were. Um, Caliper Books bought them. I think you can still get all the models. Um, these were painted by PMC. Uh, the lady that used to work there painted these for me. Very nice job. I've got a, a small granary at the back. That's the uh, the manor or great hall. If you're Saxons or Vikings, but it's like the manor house or manor hall. And then I've got a couple of, sorry, a couple, three smaller buildings. I've also got another two or three that I haven't put out. Just thought I'd put a few out to show you guys. Um, yeah, that's. That's the army. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it exactly because I say it's neither one thing or the other. Um, I think Nick would say get some men at arms, get some knights, foot knights or mounted knights, and make the Hundred Years War into a Hundred Years War army, which might be the way I need to go. And then separate it off from the uh, later or Wars of Roses army. Um, I say I've only got the over the back. I've only got the twenty archers there uh, that are sort of later. We need finishing off. But um, these cavalry, this sort of um, heavy cavalry couriers or whatever they're called, that type. Um, I've only got the twelve of those. We've got uh, four sixes there, which are basically mounted commands with a, a rear rank. The one. C and C type. Uh, say the 12 there, fully armoured knights. Uh, 424s of Billman. And uh, 24, is it? Yeah, 24 crossbowmen. These are the older foundry figures. I think in how small they look. Um, foundry slash citadel figures. Very, very small figures. Uh, I'll jump in there. I have got a Quite a few pikemen as well, I noticed. About 32, sorry, 48 pikemen, I think. But they're not based up. And I've got another 12 handgunners and I think 36 crossbow that again are not painted. They're, they're all plastic perries. So, as uh, the flavour of the month at the moment appears to be 100 Years War, I'm thinking this is what I need to get done. So it's men at arms and knights. Get some of those painted up. Um, they'll have to be in the sort of sizes we use, but I should probably double base them. So uh, because the bases are 60 by 20, so it's very thin. This is the. Oh, don't get this one here. That's the sort of base we're talking about for the men at arms. It's just a very thin base, but if you you double base them. You can get a, which will give you a 60 by 40, and then sort of scatter the thing. You still need to put the eight figures on, but I could scatter them down around a bit more. <laughs> yeah, so I can see I need mounted knights with banners. I need foot knights and foot men at arms, and perhaps some light infantry types, ribalds, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, so that's a little show of my quasi-medieval Wars of the Roses Hundred Years War Army. I'd say it's half of something and nothing of anything. <laughs> um, so I can see I've got some work to get on with. Um, I think Medieval Warrior will be putting me right on what I need. He's the man on this. He's going to tell me what I'm doing wrong and what I need to get right. So Nick step up, put your two penneth worth and uh, let me know. But there you go, guys, just a little little display for you of what I've got. Uh, yeah. Okay, so thanks a lot and uh, bye for now.